Oh. Oh god, that's a big fish. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out here where the pines grow tall. Welcome to Exploring Outdoor Greatness here. Um, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Glad you're subscribed, glad you're here. We're going on a adventure. What's known by me and Lunkers TV as the terror. This time of year in the spring, we usually like to go out east where uh, there's a lot of grass in the lakes. You can see in the water better. Uh, it warms up quicker in this part of the state and the bass fishing is normally better ahead of schedule uh, than your typical, uh, you know, where we live. So that's why we come out here. And it is a, uh, it's a popular place to go bass fish it is literally on the edge of where you know I fell in love with bass fishing over at Lake Fork you know this whole East Texas area it's where you want just beautiful scenery grasses you think bass are all up in here when you see the lakes I am sending it to uh, what lake we spent a little bit of time at last year but I want to spend a little more time today and see what we can get on the line there are some mega crappies in here some really really fat healthy bass uh, and it's not too big of a lake so we're gonna go check that out and then there's some other lakes in the region that we're gonna end up going um, in the next few days so I got I got the uh, silver bullet behind me I got all my camping gear I've got I'm loaded I'm loaded down loaded for bear I'm loaded for crappies I'm loaded for largemouth I'm loaded for anything that that tries to jump out there and attempts to bite my lure so I can twerk should be an interesting episode today y'all let's get to that Outdoor greatness, y'all. Finally out here on the water. <laughs> Long travel day. This water is uh, pretty much the same color as I remember. What? It's 64.8. If you've been paying attention to the vids lately, I've been talking a lot about the water temps, uh, moon phase. You know, current moon phase. We are uh, a waning gibbous. It's 65. Hitting 65 right now. So in my mind, I'm thinking shallow shallow especially with muddy water these bass have got to be up in the muds today is really an exploratory day to try to figure out what the fish are doing what uh what patterns are going to come about so that is my job and to also be careful out here in et big old stumps tend to knock the old yamaha around so i'm gonna just take it slow take it easy see if we can figure out a pattern together i think this is my first day out of the year fishing in sandals Go ahead and smash the like button on that. Smash the like button for just going and exploring new stuff. Couple of cranks, couple of spinners, that sort of deal. It always just takes a minute, you know, just to get out here to figure out, you know, what are the baits going to be? What are the selections? You know, what rods am I gonna use? And get those rods dialed in or you're casting all of them really good. It, it takes a minute, you know, unless you're doing it every day. I don't anymore but uh, I try to fish a lot as you guys know throw in the meat and potatoes water 64 above 64 it's meat and potatoes time when I say that I mean I'm, I'm breaking out the bigger stuff I'm breaking out jigs I'm breaking out chatter baits I'm breaking out my spinner baits I'm breaking out the uh, the ch you know every everything that's big and bold ready for big bass a little bit of a wind here and there's some riprap, I figured I would go ahead and hit that situation. My biggest sight fish is a nine pounder, but I've caught uh, more fish bigger than that that I haven't seen, than I have seen on bed, so it's not discouraging to me. Uh, next thing we gotta look for y'all is some bait. Evidence of the crappie right there. No, no, that's a gigantic yellow bass, I believe. Ooh, those are tasty, tasty too. <laughs> Good stuff. 
So far, the scouting report has been not good. I just fished some beautiful cypress tree areas. Man, it looked great, it looked promising. Nothing. So I gotta explore some other things. I was really hoping they were gonna be in that, that nice, calm, beautiful area, but it's not looking like that's the case. Oh, gotta be careful out here. A lot of stumps, a lot of trees. I'm gonna head out to another completely different area. I'm gonna keep trucking. I've been cruising in the shallows for quite some time. I just saw my first bass on a bed. I'm surprised I could even see this water clarity. But uh, just kind of spooked it off. Didn't really seem too hot to trot. Oh, I even see those are catfish. There's even catfish in the shallows, man. What the crap? I think I have a spawning pair to my left. I'm gonna go with this soft approach here. Okay, I think I've identified the male. Oh, they're both angry at it. They both don't like it. Here is the move, folks. Oh, hoping it got me a little something special in here, and I do. Prototypes. Prototype craws. Craws and beavers. These are these are Guggen baits. This is the Kraken craw. But we don't have a white or a pearl color out yet. So been experimenting with some uh, some new colors. And this would be one. This would be you know putting on your swim jigs uh, or bed fishing like this, where you can see the bed. This is such muddy water that I can't see. So I'm gonna try to put this white craw in there. It doesn't look like these fish are too spooky. First locked pair of 2019 sight fishing. I did not think I was gonna be doing that today. I'm in extremely muddy water. Just gotta look for shadows, but uh, that might be the way I have to catch these fish because they're starting to pair up and they don't really wanna eat. Okay, I feel like the lock, oh gosh. I feel like the lock is happening now. She ain't moving. Came right on top of it. Getting more and more aggressive. These are some strong-willed fish right here, I tell you what. Well, bam. Right on you, right on your side. There you go. Start getting fast with this fish. Just need it to get a little reaction. When you start going like really quick, taking it in and out, they start to get confused. You can do it with, with fish that are just locked on sitting there, like this one. You get, start getting a little antsy. They're more likely to just do a reaction bite on it. Okay, let's switch baits. Oh, God, oh, God that's a big fish. Switch baits, it got her, got her to go. Bigger than I thought. Wow. That one's got some shoulders. I thought it was like a four. It might be like a five or six. Ooh. Let the dust settle on that one for a minute. There's two more. Right in there. And they are just loaded in here. I just need to find the ones that are gonna gobble. Dark season, it's here. Oh my gosh, they're like right here in front of me. Not as big, but they're there. I'm just gonna go from the knee. Okay, that fish definitely got scared of that. Not my best flip. <sighs> yeah, that fish is freaked. Just not gonna do it. <sighs> okay, I went down the bank a little further and I just saw a female bass's behind in that sandy spot. She showed herself her tail straight up in the air. She just did it again. What a freaking big and okay. I'm not really sure how fast it's gonna happen, if it's gonna happen. But I'm going in hard with my jig. They are actually spawning at this moment. So it's gonna be hard to get their attention. She oh god, it's a big one. 
She made a big circle. God, this is just disappointing knowing there's big fish and I can't get them to bite. So once again, I'm gonna have to abandon this fish. Man, y'all, this is why I love and hate sight fishing. So when you find them, it's like so awesome. You're like, oh my gosh, that one looks like it's gonna eat. Oh, it's for sure gonna eat. And then, you know, they don't eat or they swim off or, you know, you stick one, it comes off and then, uh, it's tough. But now I'm like in that zone. I just want to go find more of those. When I catch one, it's going to be a sweet snap. But I've seen uh, five, a six-ish. I've seen one about eight. And this is some good fish, you know? So it's worth spending some time on. Well, here's another couple of giants. Doubt they're going to bite, though. Oh, at least it's like a five and a six together. That one's pissed. Okay, here we go. These are the most catchable I've seen. Ripped my painters. I'm so defeated. It's like I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna make a video. This is embarrassing. I feel like this is an embarrassing day. I've had three long attempts on bedfish and I've, I've squandered them. You know, that one's four, four-ish. That one was five, the other one was probably seven or eight. There are just some days you're not meant to catch one. I don't even know if my GoPro was rolling for that, but uh, just caught a four pounder. It was running off with my line. I thought it had it in its mouth. Then it was just like on its side and I, I stuck it. <sighs> Unfortunately, son of a gun. This is just not my day. Get in here. Barely got you. Mm. This fish represents a lot right here. This has been one of my toughest days of fishing. Not like trying to find fish. I've found fish. It's just trying to catch them. And I'm going to give you a big old snifferoo. Oh, you smell good. All right, you guys see that bloody tail? That's what's going on. That's why they're hard to catch. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Goodbye. 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 Okay. <sighs> Again, guys, one of my toughest days I've ever had. Um, I was just throwing that swim bait and I, I freaking got a rod rattling hit. Go to set the hook and it's like, it's swimming right at me. I couldn't catch up to it. Well, y'all, I'm gonna go put it on the trailer. Five bucks to camp here. You get primitive camping for five bucks. I was like, where do I go? I can just somewhere out there in the woods. Just gotta pick this spot. That's what I gotta get set up now, guys. And I'm going to start here tomorrow fresh. I just didn't have the mojo going today. Today could have been a much more successful day had I caught a few of those good bed bass, you know? a seven, a five, uh, if I would have hooked into the, the fish that I, I, I lost on the, on the swim bait, uh, that, that was a solid hit. I had a four, you know, I just had a three a second ago. Like, it would have been a really nice day of fish. I just couldn't put anything together. But tomorrow is a new day. I'm gonna think about all this tonight. No Netflix, no distractions. I think I'm gonna be camping inside of my boat, so. Let's go get camp set up and then, uh, I don't know, eat something. We're gonna eat something. Welcome to uh, Camp LFG for the night. We are amongst the pines. We're just gonna take the silver bullet right here. I have my whole tent and everything. I'm just like, I don't really wanna set the whole thing up. I've never done this before and I think this would actually work if I put the tent cover on here and then propped it up 
it basically is a tent. And then I have my sleeping pad and sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. I can put in there and I should be fine. I think it's going to be in the 50s tonight, so it should be pretty cozy in there. It's probably going to smell like soft plastics, which I'm okay with. I used to live in a tackle store. Well, you guys are pretty familiar with the back of my truck situation. This is what the, uh, this is why I built this crate right here. E.T. Tur, man. You just, you just get in your little camping spot, get your propane tank hooked up to your burner, throw some deer meat on it, chew it up good. Then you just come over here. You know, I got my charger ready to charge my things. I got my pad. I got my, my pillow. And then I've got a sleeping bag too. Also in my crate. It's all good in the hood, guys. I've even got a uh, pancake griddle for, uh, for those pancakes I'm going to whip out in the morning. Just kidding. Don't have pancakes for in the morning. I do have some, some deer sausage, though. I'm going to cook up, and I got some, uh, some already boiled eggs that I got from Bucky's. I'm not even sure I have anything to throw on this grill at this point. Uh, uh, just start the fire, though. You know, it makes you feel like you're, you're doing something. Nothing like a steamy, cheesy, mmm. Five dollar camping, y'all. Welcome to my humble abode, fishing freaks. This is pretty cool. It's my office away from my office. Uh, there's, you know, a couple of spiders, crusty spiders hanging from the ceiling. What we got there, a little arachnid issue. No big deal. Got my sleeping pad. I took my shooting sticks from the back of the truck. Never know when you're gonna need those. Acted as a little TP situation. I've got my tripod setting up that little area right there so my head goes there and then my feet are here and I've got plenty of, of space going on. Back here we've got uh, our charging station so we're gonna set up our GoPro batteries and our phone and stuff on that. If we wanna rock some tunes, we've got the Bluetooth set up over there. Got some, got some speakers up under here. Just hanging out on the internals of the boat. You know, maybe do a little graph map looking so i'm all set up for tomorrow's dangle y'all i got a good feeling about tomorrow today was just not my day even when i was setting up a little dealio here uh, i had a, a crappie angler come up and he's like man you just didn't spend enough time on them docks you need to get a so i think i have a good strategy figured out for tomorrow's dangle on both crappie and bass and we'll just rotate around see what is good and then attack whatever is biting y'all thank you guys for coming along for all these adventures um the reason i got all all this stuff and did a review on it on it earlier is because because of this moment right now this is going on the terror and when the nights are in the 50s 40s it's beautiful might as well just camp out and there's the coyotes you realize when you're camping out in your own boat underneath the boat cover that uh you have a serious fishing problem. And I hope you guys do too. If you do, let me know in the comments and I hope to see you right back here on the next dangle. I love you fishing freaks and I'll see you on the next one.